Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at New York, New York, one of the most iconic and budget friendly hotels here on the Las Vegas Strip. But the question remains, is it really worth it? Let's go check in and find out. All right, guys, we're all checked in. First impressions coming into the resort. Super busy. It looks like there is a lot of things to do here. So we're super excited to show you guys around. But before we do, let's continue the video with the official room tour. All right, guys, this is the Soho King room here at New York, New York. This is their basic room. It's 350 square feet and it feels massive. They did a really good job with the layout of this room. I'll take you guys around. Starting here, we have some storage area. There is the safe uh, right here, some additional storage with the iron ironing board. Over here, we have the TV. There is some uh, sitting space here, charging ports all throughout the room, which is very convenient. Some additional counter space here. Unfortunately, typical of NGM, there is no mini fridge. I believe you can get it, but it's up for a fee. Um, otherwise, they did a really nice job in this room. Recently renovated, a little bit over a year ago, they did a really nice job with the wallpaper to, throughout the room. It really sets the tone in this room, kind of the vibe, almost like a flat in New York City, and it is super clean. New York, New York was inspired after New York City. The design features downsized replicas of city landmarks such as the Statue of Liberty. Each hotel tower represents different city buildings. Its tallest structure is a replica of the Empire State Building, which is where we're staying today, standing at 47 stories. The property includes the Big Apple Coaster, which is really cool. It actually travels around the hotel tower. The casino is 52,000 square feet. The hotel was renovated last year. They also have the Cirque du Soleil Matte Apple Show here. Stick around for that. We're going to be checking it out later today. Now we're heading downstairs for happy hour at Il Fornaio. Alright guys, we made it to Il Fornaio, which is located right off the casino floor here at New York, New York. And they have an amazing happy hour from 2 to 6. So you can get beers from $7, wines 8, cocktails at 9, which is crazy because their cocktails are typically priced $15 to $18, so it's almost half the price. Then appetizers and pizza starting at $10 all the way to $14. So it's a really good deal uh, to check out here at New York, New York. I'm looking for that vintage flame. All right, guys, we're back in our room for a little bit. Happy hour was just such an excellent choice at El Fornaio. It's from two to six, and it's worth mentioning that it is on the bar side and not in the restaurant, so it's good to keep that in mind, but it is highly recommended. We started trying some of their cocktails, the Tiki Termina, which is made with pineapple rum. After that, we had the Italian Margarita made with tequila and limoncello, both of them very refreshing, delicious. For appetizers, we had the bruschetta and the pastachini, which is fried macaroni bites. Again, highly recommended. All these items combined made to $60, which is such a great deal here in Las Vegas. After that, we just kind of walked around checking out the different areas here at the resort. And it's really nice how they theme just the entire area with New York City vibes. You really feel like you're in the city. Talking about a lot of things to do, we're getting ready to check out the Cirque du Soleil Mad Apple Show, which takes place here at New York, New York. And it is a highly rated show, so we're looking forward to sharing our feedback with you guys and maybe give you a sneak peek.
Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Morning guys, day number two here at New York, New York, and we promised some feedback on the show uh, we saw last night, and so here we go. Mad Apple, it was a lot of fun. It is a very well-produced show, combining different elements from New York City, and was very cool. You can actually arrive 30 minutes before the show, and they set up bars across the stage. You can take pictures, so it is highly recommended, even if you're not staying here. After the show, we walked the streets of the city, and of course, we got some New York style pizza and explored some of the neighborhoods, which are, of course, representative of the cultural diversity in New York City. So, there is a little bit here for everyone. This morning we got the traditional bagel with cream cheese. I also got an amaretto iced coffee, which was really good. We went to check out the pool. Unfortunately, it was very windy this morning, so we didn't stay there for long, but the space looks really nice. And this is the point in the video where I'll give you my final review and cover some very important uh, items, starting with the room, which first of all, it was super clean. They did a really good job with the renovation a little bit about a year ago. And the space is 350 square feet, but they did such a really good job to maximize the space that you feel that there is a lot of space. It doesn't feel uh, small at all. And they did a really good job in terms of the theme and making it feel like, like you're in New York City. As far as food and beverage, I was amazed. There are over 20 options here in terms of restaurants and bars. So again, there is just a little bit for everyone here. Casino floor and entertainment, you know, the casino floor, a little over 50,000 square feet. So a lot of gambling options, entertainment. You have the Matt Apple show, you have the arcade, and there is also the roller coaster. In terms of location, this hotel is closer to the Strip than the Luxor and Mandalay Bay is. Uh, however, there is access to those properties from here. So there is a bridge that connects uh, New York, New York to MGM Grand. And then there is also a train station where you can take a monorail down to the Luxor and Mandalay Bay. In terms of room rate, we pay $130. The resort fee was $42. You know. For Friday night, which is the day that we stay here, the 130 is really not too bad. And then throughout the week, you would expect to pay a little less, anywhere between you know 60, 80, uh, maybe a hundred dollars the max. Again, depending the time of year, what's going on in town. But as far as the MGM portfolio, this is one of the most affordable properties. And just to summarize it, you know, this property, if you're planning on coming here, we recommend at least coming in for two days. There is so much to do. So if you want to maximize your time, I think two days will work perfect. Obviously more uh, if you can, but two days uh, should be more, more than enough. Overall, we had a really good time. So based on our experience, this property is highly recommended. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you very soon. Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it